Hello and welcome to the Renegade Prof channel. I'm Alex. This is my friend Darren. Hey. Now this is a new segment I've come up with now and it's called Channel Review. So uh, what we're thinking of doing is looking at some YouTubers, big or small, who are good or bad, funny or not so funny. Cringy. Not so funny, generally. Generally. Um, and the idea is we review it, we see why people might enjoy it. Why and we, why enjoy, we it. enjoy it. Basically. We react to it and there we go. Today we're doing someone that you might know from this clip here. Who are we here. doing? <laughs> from this clip here you might know him. Shut up about my head. It is normal. It is a nice head. It does not look like a sodding tic-tac. Yep, it's the tic-tac head guy. Callum's Corner, that's it, his name. And his head is not a sodden tic-tac. It's not a sodden tic-tac. Actually, I'll tell you what, he's actually one of... He's, he's kind of my friend at the moment, you know. Because, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I was talking to him on a live stream, which, by the way, I can't actually show you the clip because he deleted it. Um, and I was like, Callum, what do you think to my name? And he goes, oh... Uh, but this is my impression. Oh, Renegade Prof. Oh, that's a good name. I like that. It's a, it's a really good name. So, well, Callum, thank you, mate. Well, we're now like best friends. That's better than me because I was the opposite. I was, <laughs> I was suspended from commenting on the live stream. Right, let's get straight into this video. We're going to press play. 11 times in seven days, I am a boom boom god. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's click this. Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to Monday morning. Welcome to the start of my weekly vlog. And what a start we've had. All right, first off, first off, first off, first off. He looks very excited. He has, he has had a good he's night. Had, he's, had, he's had a good time, hasn't he? 11 times yeah. in seven days. He's really, you know, he's really... The thing is, this is day one of the week. It's only going to go only day one. Oh, it's only... Unless it was 11 times on the first day. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It looked like a pepper army. But um, anyway, let's carry on. Stop now, you guys know him. He's he's like my best mate on YouTube. And last night something incredible happened to him. His best mate. He went into a Discord call for like a KSI video thing and he got Oh to speak yeah, yeah, to him. yeah yeah. Uh, yeah, KSI. yeah. You know about this, do you? No. Tom Stockdale? What happened in the Discord? So basically um Oh this guy in KSI. KSI's yeah, I know second this. channel. Yeah. Well they might not know. <laughs> but basically what happened was he went on the Discord because KSI had this like one question thing. And yeah. you'd, you'd go in you ask a question, but people would cock up and go, uh, hi, how are you? Because it's naturally to say it. And then he goes, that's your question, sorry. They're like, no, no. He's like, nah, fucking hell, sorry. Clicks him out. So Tom Stockdale was a guy who went on. So he's like, give me a word, give me a word. And he's like, all right. He's got his guitar and he'll like rap and uh, do a flow, you know, everything with the um, yeah. the word given. So anyway, all right. You did a really good freestyle there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bus is on its way now, so we'll talk more about this when I'm home. I know, we've lost the bus the stop. Just... <laughs> <laughs> what do people think? Cam. It's this actually vlogging on the picture of my boss. Honestly, it's in a box. Allow me to share my innermost thoughts with you guys. It's <laughs> Peter. I'm the boss and I'm having a thought. I'm thinking about potential pedophiles and I thought this is... <laughs> 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 Sorry, we got a boss. We got a boss. Sorry, who the <laughs> fuck <laughs> on the bus thinks... Oh, yes, um, I had a thought. I'm thinking about no, potential pedophiles. I mean... He sounds very Alan Partridge as well. <laughs> like... I also love the fact that all the pedophiles are on the bus as well. That like, none of them drive. They're all like, oh, I'm get the bus to sneak to my school. I love this man. I love this man. Three people sitting on this bus. How many of these do you think are potential pedophiles? Zero. The answer <laughs> should be all of them. Until you know. <laughs> <all of them. laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess just in case. they could all that be potentially, I guess. What, what's the percentage of that? Though? To be big. Very <laughs> right, I'm off the bus now and I'm walking the last bit home, but I've got to tell you about what has just happened. So I'm standing there waiting at a crossing by the church. So I press the button, it's taking <laughs> ages for the lights to change. Tuesday. Right, I'm going to do a quick update while I've got a moment. This is probably going to be my only chance to today. Um, I'm about to go into Big Nigel's for some daytime FIFA. He's got the morning Big off. Nigel's. I've got the day off. So hopefully I'm going to smash his back doors in. Um, right, let's just pause. You're going to smash his back doors in. My favourite thing is when he goes to his friends, he's playing FIFA, and he says, I'm, I'm going to smash, smash his back doors in. No, I get it. He means he's going to like beat him. He's going to like totally thrash him. But, but Darren, if I went to you and went, oh, I went over to my friends the other day, and I'm going to smash his back doors in. What would you instantly think? I definitely think you mean having anal sex. Anal sex. <laughs> I'm going to be getting ready because this evening, uh, my lady is coming over. Still having a lady. conversation about whether like, we're a proper couple again yet, but things are going very, very I hope well. so, for Callum's sake. Um, yeah, I'd like it. I'm hungry at the moment, and I had hoped to be it doing seems happy, a vegan it? sausage yeah, roll it. review oh. for you. 
uh, from Greg's. Uh, I went in I'm there. I'm just worried when she's going to start finding his videos. Because I couldn't see it. Yeah, because he does um, talk about her and the personal information quite a lot. Yeah. Crushed. I don't know how he gets away with it. It's like going and asking for porn or something. Horrifying. That's right. That's for the vegan sausage roll. Magnificent. Comprehensive victory. Asking for games and nothing. Each game more handsomely won than the last. And I watched the video of KSI and Tom smashed it. Literally could not be happier. This is like my best mate from YouTube. I'm so excited. Um, I'm wandering it. around. Yeah, I saw some uh, live streams to together. Come to the shop, uh, so I can do this little vlog update for two reasons. Number one, it's rude to get your phone out on a date, and number two, <laughs> uh, <laughs> two she doesn't really understand it, and I don't want to kind of. That's good. Oh. Right, answer oh. top. She doesn't understand YouTube. YouTube. She will not find these videos. You know well I mean? done, Callum. You're smart. She's very clever. Very, very. You're going to talk about her online. Maybe she doesn't know about it. Yeah, maybe she doesn't know about it, especially when you're expressing, you know, all the. So excited. But we're talking more stuff. about this tomorrow. <laughs> you can't see me, but I am smiling my face off. No, we can see you, Callum. We can see you. <laughs> right, I am just got back home. From I bet it's like 10 p.m. I'm absolutely knackered. I had to work a double shift because everyone phoned in sick, and I'm also feeling ill as well. I've got a cold now. And that's been what, like a year in the podcast and this stuff. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go right, over there's and watch some it. Hopefully it's decent. And it's also, on a personal note, I've now had oh, that. 11 times in the last seven days. Oh, go on, Callum. <laughs> Round of applause for our, for our fellow King of the North. <laughs> Right, good morning. times in seven days. Four Wait, is just a very quick. Is he, it's top off. Uh, won't be able to do much filming at all in the next couple of days. I'm going to have to work double Machine. shifts. I posted the, the shower. Couple of days because of staff <laughs> sicknesses. Uh, but that doesn't matter. In fact, I'll go so far as to say that that is the first truly great poo that I've had so far this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. There's a fist to everything. I've been working all day today. Uh, got home from work and ordered a takeaway. I just fancy a good burger, so hopefully it's going to be good. Uh, anyway, the burger has turned up and it was an hour and a half in the making, so I'm expecting oh, it to be good. That's fucking long for takeaway. Um, hmm. Actually, that looks decent. That looks decent. I'm going to turn it around decent, so I can show you. Right, so, yeah, burger. Yeah, 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 that looks Wait, right, good size. No, what is that? Bacon, I don't know. <laughs> good cheese and all that. Fries, I want to double and it seems to be ample. However, the real disappointment of the whole thing, That's a disappointment the drink in an hour and a half, is that chocolate cake, four quid that too. Who the fuck right. orders chocolate cake? Who chocolate cake? orders chocolate cake from a table? Yeah, you might as well buy the full cake. It's it the dumbest fucking thing. thing. You might as well buy a full cake. You see it on the menu. Who the fuck that, actually that buys it? Yeah, exactly. I'm always baffled by that. Stick it up my arse and it wouldn't bloody fill me up. How big is that? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm getting a bit annoyed with so, work, to be honest with you. I'm annoyed I'm oh. having to work all the time because everyone else is bloody bone idle. Um, and my fat manager is coming back next week. Apparently oh, there she's we go. pregnant, not just fat, which I find <laughs> <laughs> black, massive hair. You really can't really there, say so that, can you? Yeah. Yeah. Probably is she never sees this. Apparently not. Mate. Yeah, well, I did not get a discipline or a fight. He's oh, definitely no, no, complained no, about his, his boss enough yeah. for his yeah. job. They clearly don't understand YouTube either. Nightmare. Um, it's just yeah, it's just getting to me a little bit. You work, I don't know how this. Two hundred thirty-three thousand. You don't get it. I don't know if he really it. understands um, YouTube. And <laughs> there will be more videos next week. Uh, proper filmed ones. I've done an undercover yes. Tinder one, which I'm going to get filmed for you. Undercover and Tinder I one sounds hilarious. I'm also, looking forward um, to that. Found an incredible video that I'll be doing a reaction to. Um, so yeah, lots to look forward to, and also including the chip challenge for my next vlog. As well as it being a normal vlog, I will also be surviving the week on chips. So, um, and not a week on chips, just chips. chips. So, fuck me. Yeah, you know that healthy bowel um, movement. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to end. That's going to really right. end with so, just chips. Uh, but only if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, fucking you hell. Like. Oh, uh... <laughs> his vlogs are the best. His vlogs are the best. So, obviously, that was his newer video. Yeah. But I've managed to find some of our uh, favorite videos, yeah. shall we say. And um, so we can really. You know, dive in to see why Deep people down. enjoy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why people enjoy his content, right? So uh, here's some other videos that we've come across. Hey up, and welcome to Callum's Corner. He sounds so now, mellow. Last night I did a video on an embarrassing mellow, story from my past, and I really enjoyed it. I felt better I've got today, a video like that. having bigger energy, well. renewed, having got it off my okay. chest. Okay. Like repping that Callum's Corner past, style. And Callum's Corner merch. Callum's Corner merch. Yeah, she has merch, doesn't she? Yeah, surprisingly. Yep, both of them stuff. are the things I yep. know you for, Carl. I, 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 I love you for. I love you for, yeah. Story and He's actually one of my favourite YouTubers. Oh yeah, definitely. Consistently watch him all the time. This time. So let's start with the bad one. Right, that oh, was here we go, here we go. 
um, I was a fresher. Wait, you went to we university? We were in the communal kitchen. Oh. The way it worked was we were in halls and there were seven of us and we each had our own room and it was kind of like a flat and we shared a kid, big kitchen. So it was big in kitchen, there. Yeah, it was yeah, the standard. morning after. Bed in the small the kitchen. Beers, <laughs> the before, and I was fine. Bit on the bed. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Cal, alpha anyway. male on the bed. You know, I like you do. I bet you was building in boom boom. I often get a bit gassy after a night on the beers. Um, <laughs> so I, oh, I was just going to pause it here. It was quite loud in there. Loads of people. I'll tell you a funny story about Darren, actually. Oh, go on then. All right, all right. So uh, we had been on, you know, having a bit of a session, you know. And um, that, hang on, that, that that doesn't sound like a drinking session. <laughs> just to clarify, <laughs> I smashed Darren's back balls in. Uh, no, so <laughs> so we've been, you know, drinking, right? No. And um, now Darren froze up in his sleep. Not always, on occasion. Okay, but this one time he threw up on the floor in his sleep. Um, anyway, I walked past him and I think, I thought it was custard. I have no socks and I stand on it. It's yellow as well. I stand on it. It's warm. And I was like, why is the custard on the vlog? You know, cause I'm, I'm still, you know, a bit tipsy and I'm tired. Yeah. I just woke up and I realized it was Darren's vomit <laughs> all seeping in between my toes and in my nails. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, anyway, back to Callum. <laughs> How can we now claim that his story is disgusting? <laughs> were in there there were two other guys in my flat and the other girls and they were yapping away yapping away i thought well, i could just do it quietly so i went to do it and i thought i farted and i shot myself Go on, <laughs> <laughs> and oh he's a legend it, it was awful to be honest with you it was i can imagine yeah. i can imagine it being awful it was how do i describe it well i did it and i was just mortified and no i didn't think anyone had noticed so I thought, sure oh, they would have uh, smelled. Yeah, I was like, you can't like sit on it. So like, <laughs> no, thought, well, well, what if they've heard me fart and then like having King Kong's finger so I'll cover it somehow. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'll do a fake sneeze. But King Kong finger's really hairy. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Did a fake sneeze and I farted and pooed a little bit more. <laughs> and it, the first one was just being like a plug or something that was holding me. <laughs> and a little bit more, Jesus. It was like a plug. And it became. Oh. That I, what had happened, and yeah. it was watery. And oh oh no, man! Seafood! Shipping down your leg into your sock. And it was a horrific experience. I just had to man up and own up to it, what had happened. Um, but yeah, they took the piss out of me at all. I know someone shoot himself, it, actually. But, luckily, <laughs> but anyway, I won't go into that. Any friends over it. What it was probably a longer lasting kind of impact of it was my. You know, that kind of thing had never happened to me. I'd never even considered that happening. It was like distrusting all I thought I knew. <laughs> I like how I had an existential crisis of how they shit himself. What do I mean? Oh. Follow through a tiny bit. But back then, I didn't know it could happen. And I was just, you know, reevaluating everything I thought I knew. Oh, oh <laughs> bless him, bless him. From the farts is to fart. And actually, you're not always. It's always best yeah. to be careful. That's what that taught me. Good advice. Um, awesome story. <laughs> Let's cut that one there, Paul's. So this is a foodie. I think that um, <laughs> he's an expert when it comes to eating. Especially confectionery. Especially confectionery. Um, which can be shown with this example here, which is instructions on how to eat a walnut whip. So uh, let me <laughs> let me get this up. All right, are we ready? You ready? Yeah, I'm always ready for Callum. I'm always ready for Callum. Let's play. Hey up! Hey up! Welcome to Callum's Corner. And welcome to Callum's Corner. Walnut whips, as well as being absolutely gorgeous and totally delicious, oh, yeah. and Nestle's mm. oldest confectionery item, have. dating from 1910. Yes, they are also <laughs> one of the most <laughs> underrated and unknown about confectionery items on the market. Well, that stops Are they now. Unknown? I'm going to try and raise yeah. awareness. He said underrated. Eh? So he said all underrated. Of can enjoy oh. what is a magical treat. Underrated greed. Now, unknown I hope to show you how to eat a walnut whip. This is what I've actually been longing for. I bought a pack of three of them yesterday. A walnut whip. Poundland. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, I wanted to get one and uh, actually do this. Yeah. Yeah. Our friend Lou actually did this, and he said for some reason it made it taste nicer. But is it was it just the sports of Callum that made it taste sweeter? Like placebo effect. Going to color makes everything seem better. <laughs> makes everything squeeze. A little <laughs> cone of chocolate. Inside this cone is a delicious white fondant. And oh yeah, I've expect, heard that one before. Get the, <laughs> the, the white fondant out, guys. On top of it is the crowning glory. Oh yeah. So, 
Some people, well, I'm going to tell you how to eat it. Basically, yeah, good luck. What you want to do is turn it upside down so the thick yeah. end is at the top there. We're in about the one at whipping. Yeah. That yeah, the thick off. end at the top. You can do it with your hands if you twist it in most cases. Sometimes you will need to uh, use your open mouth. your mouth wide and just bite that off. Ooh. What you'll be left with there is a oh, disc so of thick chocolate. Now, my technique for this Long is end. to enjoy each component <laughs> of it on its own before finishing it off with a delicious mouthful of all three combined. So, okay, go you want to eat this disc of chocolate. It's quite nice to have with a cup of tea. You can dip it in there a little bit. Mm, gorgeous. You kiss it. Next, yep. you want to extract the white fondant. Now, if you're on your own and there's no one around, you can use your tongue and get straight in there. Yes, you yeah, can. Quite a big tongue. I can reach to the bottom. Or bet, if you are, I bet he's even like that. A little bit embarrassed and self-conscious. You can just use your finger and scoop it out and lick it off. We are still about the wall of whipping. I really hope so. Absolutely vital. You want to leave the bottom centimeter, two centimeters of white fondant in there. Make sure you get your ruler out. Make sure it's two yeah, 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 centimeters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly oh, empty cones of chocolate. Oh, fuck that. You want to eat the chocolate till you reach the fondant that you've left in there. You'll have a little bit about this big. Yeah. Chocolate, yeah. well, walnut, chocolate. Do you know, why doesn't he have a walnut with women to like demonstrate? Where it all comes together. Hey, oh, he explained, he said that he, was, he just couldn't all handle it. He got free and he had to eat them all. Oh, okay. A delicious so walnut. Yeah, no self control. Chocolate, gorgeous. Fondant, what a treat. All at once in your mouth. Mm, bosh. And you finish mm. on a high. You do not want to, and I'll repeat this, Ooh, you this do not want to in any circumstances be one of the people who just turns it the right way up and bites into it. The walnut, the fondant, the chocolate is your first mouthful. Oh, yeah, what gorgeous. a mess. And what a mess. You don't want to know. It's all over your fingers. But you've got to defer the gratification. If you do that, yeah. it's all downhill from there. And you're going to be the better it feels. feeling by the end of it. There we go, Callum. So I'm glad I learned that from Callum. I, as someone who eats walnut whips, never. I thought that was incredibly important. It was very important. Like I said, our friend Luke used it as, as actual advice. And he thought it were good. Therefore, it must be true, Therefore, right? Therefore, it must be true, right? <laughs> right, so there you go. Um, that was us looking at Callum's Corner's channel. And by the way, we didn't even touch upon like so many of his videos. Oh, like, yeah, there's so much to even go through, you know. We've his live streams are classics. Yeah. His archive is full of stuff. His family troubles are all over his channel. And he is a hilarious guy. We don't agree with his opinions no. a lot of the time and, on stuff. And um, I don't know quite if we're always laughing with him. But, but the, the thing is, so what is it that makes people watch him? And I'll say it to you. But it's because he's like a traditional YouTuber. In the commercial yeah. age of YouTube, you know, where everyone's, you know, selling something, sponsor this, that, everything has to look amazing. You're showing off. KSI gets his what? How oh, much watch was it? £300,000 yeah. watch. Oh, uh, and everything. And it's just, that's all it is, you know. It's just, it felt like it was showboating. Especially in American. American vlogs seem to be just obsessed with showing off their money. But he, he's an actual, just an, um, a normal um, he's, YouTuber. He's genuine. He doesn't seem to really know what he's doing, but that's kind of part of his appeal. Like, he's yeah. ju he's just a, he just seems like someone who's just he's having a bit of fun on YouTube, which in the which in an era where everything is kind of fake, is kind of refreshing in a yeah. weird sense. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, I, I, he's just kind of funny and interesting. <laughs> he's like an old YouTuber from back in the day. So I just want to say thank you, Callum. If you somehow do watch this, we're not having a go. We actually yeah, love yeah. you. Hey, so. Yeah, no. Hey, up. So uh, let me hear you say, yeah. Yeah. As always, uh, please do like, please subscribe. I want to also thank you for the new subscribers. I'm on 250 subscribers now, which is brilliant. So that's that's, yes, well that's awesome. Thank you. Um, please also check out my parody of Bitch Lasagna, which is the Yorkshire version. So anyway, we'll see you in a bit. We've been the L Dude Brothers. And... Uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> okay.